Hi Eastgate Builders. So the biggest question, two motors versus one. Does two motors make the skateboard go faster? No, it doesn't. So in this video, I'm just gonna go through a few of the differences. Why would you have one motor versus two or vice versa? Two motors is more torque. It doesn't mean more speed. It means more torque. Now, you can convert torque into speed. For instance, if I put a larger diameter wheel, I can actually get a higher top speed. Now, if I only had one motor and I put larger wheels on here, it would actually mean the motor has more work to do. It would put more load on the motor and it would heat it up and perhaps not so good for that motor to be loaded up and have too much work to do, drawing more current, getting hot. You don't want that. So two motors isn't necessarily faster, but it is what you should use if you wanna make a really fast skateboard. You should go two motors because it's sharing the load across two motors, which means less heat builds up in each one and you can make a faster electric skateboard. So I hope that makes sense. I guess the flip side of having two motors, I mean, yes, more torque, you can have a higher top speed if you gear it that way, but two motors requires two motor controllers. Um, it requires two motor mounts. It requires two belts, two pulleys, wheel pulleys. So the cost of everything doubles. So bear that in mind. If you don't need really high torque or if you just wanna make a standard good electric skateboard, a single motor might be a good option. It's going to be much cheaper. This gets a little bit technical, but say if you've got your battery and it can only output say 50 amps, or maybe that's all you want it to output just because that's the safe limit. Now, if you're splitting those 50 amps into two motors, it's only 25 amps each. If you've got one motor and the maximum power you can get from your battery is 50 amps, that motor can actually have more power running into it. So this is where it gets a little bit interesting. One motor can actually be very, very powerful. If you've seen one of my videos, I actually went head to head with a Boosted Dual Plus and I had my single motor Raptor and it actually was beating it up the hill. In their set configurations, this was faster and had better hill climbing torque. The Boosted board was better um, in the, like a drag race. It had better traction and it took off better. So. It's an interesting balance there. This can actually have the same wattage output as two. So let that sink in. One motor can be the same wattage as two motors. So what are the subtle differences? What are the advantages of two motors? So I touched on it briefly. I said traction. Now, if you've got two drive wheels, it's, I mean, you know, in a four wheel drive car, versus a two wheel drive car, there's more traction. It's the same deal. If you've just got one wheel driving, this one's not doing anything. You've only got that much width of traction on the ground to get the power into the ground. When I ride a mono drive, I'm always losing traction. This is a really powerful motor. It's easy to lose traction there and it's wasted power. If you wanna hit the accelerator and take off, mono drives, might slip and that's where you go the dual drive you know the the total watts that you're consuming might not be greater than what that consumes you can get a lot more traction and you can accelerate much harder double the contact patch double the traction the other cool thing about dual motors is it's actually double the brake force so if you are a bigger guy and you want to come to a stop quicker, especially if you ride at high speeds. This is serious business, guys. On the slower electric skateboards that you buy pre-built from the various brands, they don't necessarily go as fast as what you can make your own electric skateboard going. And if you're a car racing enthusiast or if you've ever been into racing sports or whatever, 
you know that the brake performance is just as important as the power and acceleration performance. If you're gonna go fast, you need to be able to stop and stop quickly. Now, let's get a little bit technical on that. So the thing to, to notice here, and you might be able to see it when I hold this up here, is the belt width on the mono drive, it's, it's actually 12 millimeters, and on the dual drive, they're nine millimeters. Now, the reason this particular setup has two nine millimeter belts is there's not much room left in there. So it's hard to make the belt wider without making the truck wider. So the reason I'm talking about belt width is because belt width is directly proportional to the amount of torque that can be transferred to the wheel. The wider the belt, the more hold it has. I mean, the more traction each little tooth on the pulley has meshed into the belt. Making wider belts is one way of getting more power to the wheel. That's why we use a wider belt on the single motor. You just can't do it here, but when you add the, the two together, 18 millimeters wide, you've actually got quite a bit wider than what the single has anyway. So you're still better off here, um, but you could actually make it even wider if you wanted and have two 12 mil belts, but then the trucks would need to be wider. So I know that was delving into it a little bit, but basically the width of the belt is directly proportional to the amount of torque it can transfer to the wheels. What are the other negatives of dual drive? So dual drive is a little bit more complicated. So you would need one for each motor. Now, obviously they go inside this deck, but each motor would need one. Um, and so it adds to the cost and it adds to the complexities. Now, the thing is here, the more parts you have, some might say the more chance something can fail. And I suppose that's true. But the flip side of that is if you do have two motors, you can actually have a backup, I suppose. If one fails, you can actually ride around on the other one quite easily. One motor is more than capable to get you around. More chance of things failing, yes, but also there's redundancy there so you can have a backup. Some other things to think about, having two motors here and two motor controllers and extra wires and extra belts and pulleys, it adds to the total weight. So the weight actually gets greater. So if you've got to carry the board around in your hand a lot, you might actually be better off with a single drive just because it's quite a bit lighter. Quickly, let's break that, this down. The benefits of dual motors, better traction for accelerating and braking, less heat build up in the motor because they've got to do less work. Um, the negatives, slightly more complicated setup, slightly more costly and not necessarily more power output in watts. Anyway guys, that's a quick breakdown. I hope that helps you. If there's any questions about mono drive versus dual drive, just write the comments down below. Share this video, like it. See ya.